Life struggles, happy moments, bad times, and unforgettable memories. Join us as we talk about our lives and share a laugh or two with us as we bring you along on our crazy journey called life. Welcome, Welcome to Two Wives, One, One World. World. Hi, welcome back to our very first recorded episode. Hey guys, it's Cassidy. And I'm Nikki, and it's awesome to be able to put a face to these lovely voices. Yes, I'm so excited. For those of you that watch our podcast that don't really know us personally, uh, this is what we look like. Are we what you thought we'd look like? Well, I guess you've seen pictures of us, but this is us live in action. (laughs) Very, very true. So do we want to talk about what we're going to be talking about today? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, Our episode today is going to be a super fun one, and it's going to be so amazing to talk about because it's something we're both obsessed with. So today's episode is, drumroll, Nikki, go ahead and announce it. Disney. Disney. Yes! We love Disney. Everything Disney. So today we figured we would talk all about it, talk about the parks, talk about characters talk about movies talk about songs anything you can think about think of disney we're probably talking about it today yes and i'm super excited again every episode i say i'm super excited but i always am i'm excited to talk with you so uh we're gonna do something a little bit different today and it was an awesome idea that nikki had do you want to go ahead and explain what we're going to be doing every episode now so since we are video recording so you can see our faces and see like our backgrounds and what we're doing um currently I'm uploading our video for today so if I look over I'm probably just checking my lap other laptop um but what we are going to be doing is it's called what's in my cup and so we're every episode we're going to have a cup filled with something to drink and we're going to be telling you what's inside of it so Cass would you like to go first Yes, definitely. I will show you what I have here. It is a wonderful Yeti. It is uh, black. And if you look on here, I actually have a sticker that I bought while we were in Hawaii. And it's Iron Man making this gesture, which in Hawaii, that's how you say like, hello, thank you. That's a lot of like nonverbal ways to speak in Hawaii is by using this. So I got that in Hawaii. Um, So a little bit of backstory on my cup. Um, my husband bought this for me. I love it. Um, but all I have is, is four ice cubes and some water. So nothing super interesting today. Maybe next (laughs) week. Oh, actually I lied. I was supposed to have my Cinderella glass and it was supposed to have chocolate milk in it, but I accidentally hit it with my Yeti and it cracked. So now we, we have this as a backup. So that's what I have today. What about you? Today, I am drinking out of a mug that you actually gave me for my birthday, I think, last year. Yes. It says, celebrate on the front with, like, glitter flags. And if you know me, you know I love glitter. And on the back, it says, glitter is my favorite color, which it might be backwards, but that's what it says. (laughs) And I am drinking apple juice out of it. Ooh, that sounds good. I'm excited to see what we're going to be choosing every week. Me too. Apple juice is, it's so weird, but if I'm, like, stressed out or having a bad day, I love to come home and drink apple juice. Ooh. I mean, hey, that's a great way to deal with your stress, honestly. Better than drinking other things. I agree. Or taking it out on people, which I'm kind of good at sometimes. But (laughs) all of us have faults, so that's okay. But, guys, if you like this segment, let us know. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And what are you guys having today? What are you drinking? Let us know what's in your cup. What is in your cup? What are you drinking out of? (laughs) There we go. That reminds me. Do do you remember that Glee song? There was like an episode where they came up with all original songs and somebody came up with a song called My Cup. Oh, man. If I listen to it, maybe. That was a good one. That was a good one. If you know the song, I'm... If you know the song I'm talking about, comment down below. Yes. And also another thing is we love Glee. I still personally haven't finished the whole series, but that's just because I just, I try to watch it and then it's like, 
all the singing after I watch like eight or nine episodes in a row, it's like, all right, I got to take a break. But we love Glee. We do. I've watched Glee three times, I think, the whole way through. Dang, girl. <laughs> I love <laughs> Glee. That's amazing. Um, but I guess why don't we go ahead and just roll right into it? Let's let's start this podcast and let's see what we can talk about today. Um, so it looks like our first point of interest is well, actually, before we even start talking about topics, let's talk about, you know, what is it about Disney that draws you to it? What what is it that's like, oh my gosh, I love this? What is it that makes you that way? So my obsession, I call it an obsession, I love it, um, probably started four years, three or four years ago, excuse me, when I went to Disney World for the first time. I absolutely loved it, and it sparked something in me that was like, yes, I want to watch all the Disney movies, I want to know everything about all the characters, I want to listen to music. I want to have all of the Disney merch, like, and then, um, I didn't go back for a couple more years, and the last time I went back was my honeymoon, so Disney just holds a, like, really special place in my heart, because it doesn't matter what I'm going through at the time, I'm always, whenever I go there, it just always makes me feel happy, like, whenever they say it's the most magical place on earth, they are not lying, Yes, I agree. I agree. That's awesome. Yeah, it's always so good to find something that you connect to and it's something that you can go to and feel good about. And it's just a great thing. I'm happy. What about you? Um, well, I, um, I've kind of always had this little thing for it for basically my whole life. Like my room when I was a baby was Disney baby themed. And I went to the parks for the first time when I was two or three and It was just always something, like you said, it's like, it doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter how you're feeling. It's like, it it feels like whether you're watching the movies or you're listening to the music or you're going to the actual parks, it's like, there's always something or someone there that's going to make you feel good. And to me, that's super important because I feel like there are a lot of people that don't find that thing that makes them happy. And um, another thing that, that kind of makes me fall in love with it more is it's just, it's, valuable time spent with people you love and Mm -hmm. when you can find a place where you can go with your family and share those memories for the rest of your life it's just it I get goosebumps thinking about it but that's basically it I've always just had a little thing for it my whole life and I don't see that changing so (laughs) might as well flaunt the love for it you know what I mean right and I agree with that I mean I didn't go to Disney at two which is awesome like I want to do that with my kids (laughs) But I've always really been big into, like, princesses and fairy tales, hence why our wedding was fairy tale themed. Um, And I think Disney just kind of embodies all of that, like, happily ever afters. And they're getting more into, like, stronger women roles, which is amazing. Yes, that's awesome. I mean, Mulan came out when we were what like five six maybe around there I think so I don't actually know I don't remember but like that was a great role model to look up to as a little girl and be like yes I want to be just like Mulan yes and prove that you're strong and prove that just because you're a woman doesn't mean you can't do the same thing guys can yeah it's amazing even, I love it even like now you have Frozen where it's not how the guy saved the girl. It's about how the sisters saved each other. And yes. um, what's another one? Moana. Yeah, Moana. She basically went and did her thing. And it, that's she was a very strong female lead as well. That was awesome. And, and, you know, Rapunzel too. Because it's like Flynn Rider kind of helped her. But I also feel like she made that initiative to go out on her own. And she defended herself with that pan like nothing <laughs> like it a girl something. she <laughs> so I feel like it's nice that we have these big female roles um and it's amazing and since we're on the topic of princesses why don't we talk about our favorite Disney movies oh, let's talk about it it's hard to just kind of pick a couple it really is which ones if you're gonna sit down and and 
Okay, so let's say you're lost on an island, and there are three Disney movies that you can watch. Only three? <laughs> Which three would you pick? Okay. Okay. So, so this is really hard. My first one would be first. Tangled. Yes. Tangled is my favorite movie. Rapunzel is my favorite princess. Um, this is really hard. Super my second hard. one, I think, would have to be Hercules. Oh, that's a good one. I love Hercules' music and everything in that movie is just amazing. Um, and see, this is where I'm struggling because I really love Tarzan, but at the same mm-hmm. time, like, Beauty and the Beast is also an amazing movie. Yes. So I'm between, like, Beauty and the Beast and Tarzan, but I think mm. I'd have to go with Beauty and the Beast. Aw. I think. Hard. Because it's like you sit there and it's like, oh, what am I going to watch? And you have a whole bunch of movies to pick for. It's not like, okay, you have to choose three movies or you're never going to get to watch them again. It's like, oh, my gosh, what am I supposed to do in this instance? Like, what the Mm -hmm. heck? Um, If I were on an island and I had to pick three, I would pick The Little Mermaid because I love Little Mermaid. Um, See, yeah, I guess that is a hard question. Why did I do this to myself? (laughs) Um, I would pick that. I would pick probably, I love Frozen, so I'd mm-hmm. also choose Frozen. Mm, this last one is going to be a hard one. Because I love Cinderella. She's my favorite princess, but I don't know that I would pick Cinderella. So I think I'm going to choose, hmm. okay, that, that is hard. Um, I think I, you know, I think I will choose Cinderella. Cinderella. I'll do Cinderella. Yeah. So That's Cinderella. Such a good movie. Frozen and Little Mermaid. Love it. Love it. There you go. Good lineup. Three. Good lineup. <laughs> Three movies is not enough though. Like, no, it's. Really I need enough. way more than that. Oh yeah, and you love watching movies, and so do I. So it's like kind of just choosing three. It's kind of like, oh, man. Oh, I forgot about the Aristocats. Oh, classic. I love that movie. Classic. <laughs> Can I bring five movies? <laughs> Can I just bring my whole Disney collection? Yeah. Pretty <laughs> Is <much>. that fair? <laughs> um, but are there any like honorable mention movies like oh, that you think are underrated? How about underrated? Ooh, what, okay. what ones do you think are underrated? So... Aristocats is one of them. Yes. Because I think that movie's amazing. Hercules is another one. Yes. Um, and this is one that, like, not a lot of people know about, but I love it. It is Black Cauldron. Okay. So that movie is, like, one of the darker Disney movies, I guess. Um, it came out, like, I don't even know when it came out. But it's about this boy who like takes care of this pig and this pig has magic powers and um this like he's a he's kind of like a demon I guess demon guy (laughs) wants this I know wants this magical pig because it can tell I don't know if it can tell the future or what it's been a while since I watched it um so this demon wants this pig and it has he has like other demons working for him and this boy is trying to keep this pig safe. Along the way, he runs into a princess and this little, like, fuzzy guy. His name's Gurgi. <laughs> and when I was younger, my brother used to do... He had, like, a catchphrase that was, like, I know munchums and crunchums are in here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, my brother always used to do that. So I think that's another reason I love this movie so much. But... yeah. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, you should watch it because it's a good one. Yes, a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people don't even know about that movie. Like, Mm -hmm. I feel like people are like, what? It sounds like a fairy tale or something. It's so good. Have you watched it? I have not. Uh, I haven't seen that one. We need to watch it. (laughs) Yes. What about Um, you? What are some of your honorable mentions? Well, honorable mentions, I really love Mulan. 
Ooh. Um, if we're going to throw like Marvel in there, since technically it is Disney now, um, Avengers Endgame is 100% one of my favorite movies in the world. It's so good and it's emotional. Um, and then like for underrated movies, I'm 100% going to say Moana. I'm 100% going to say Moana because that movie I feel did not get the respect that it needs because it is so good. And honestly, I'm surprised it didn't blow up as big as Frozen. That's honestly. what I was just going to say. I feel like it needs the hype that Frozen had. Oh, Frozen, ha- Frozen still. I went to Walmart two nights ago. And the Frozen 2 stuff that they have out is crazy. Oh my gosh, I know. Crazy. So it's what, like November 20th or something. It's like 29 days or 28 days till the movie comes out. I think it comes out the 22nd, November 22nd. That is insane. So I don't know if sales are going to be as big with Frozen 2, but Frozen was just, it blew up. And then if you remember the Christmas right after that movie came out, how much Frozen stuff was everywhere. That was the it thing. The it thing. The costumes, the pop figures, the dolls, the Olaf. It's like... Everything. Everything was Frozen. Literally. It was insane. I I can remember that. It was... I think my nieces had, like, a lot of the Frozen stuff. It's just crazy. That, that it like, going down in history has got to be one of the biggest, like, blow-up items or even themes for Christmas it's insane um but since we're talking about movies let's kind of stem off and from that who are some of your favorite characters or which characters do you feel like you relate to okay so Rapunzel like I said before is my favorite princess she's just so independent and so creative but she's also kind of like goofy and just sweet like she has such a sweet character because she went from being locked in a a tower to like being on her own being a princess of a castle yeah which is crazy did not like change her personality which is awesome yes we love a good princess um going off of that I love Pascal too yeah he's like my favorite sidekick so character <laughs> he's just so funny he's and so Flynn Rider's my favorite prince nice just because I mean look at him we've all had crushes on cartoon characters <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there but just look at him uh, <laughs> other than that I have to say my favorite characters besides Entangled this is hard. I would I really like Tarzan. Yes, and that's a great movie. I feel like that's a little bit underrated too. I feel like it, it like it's popular, but it isn't as popular as it should be. The music in that movie is amazing. So good. Phil Collins just hits the nail with a hammer on that one. It's just so, great. So like from I heard from somebody, I don't remember where it was, that they Literally just went up to Phil Collins and said, we want you for this movie. We don't care what kind of music you write. So he could have literally made, I may have told this on the podcast before, but he could have literally wrote whatever he wanted, but he chose to spend the time to make an amazing soundtrack for that movie. Wow. That, see, I didn't know that. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. That is awesome. It oh is. It's great. What about you? Who are your favorite characters? Hmm. Well, I really love Cinderella. I always have since I was a little girl. But there for a little while, Ariel was my favorite princess. Like, I was obsessed with Little Mermaid. But she still is. It's like Cinderella and Ariel are, like, at a tie for me. Um, And the only reason I would say Cinderella is my ultimate favorite princess is because even when I was a little girl, I was, like, obsessed with her. So it's like I almost feel, like, a little bit nostalgic with that princess. So that's literally the only reason I would pick her over Ariel, though. But I love both of them. Um, I love Prince Eric. And I love Flounder, but another one of my favorite, favorite characters is Olaf the Snowman because he just cracks me up. Yes. He cracks me up. Like, I I don't care what anybody says. If Olaf was not a character, Frozen would not be as big as it was because he was such a funny character. Mm -hmm. Um, So I love him. And then if any of you have seen Toy Story 4, Forky was hilarious as well. 
Yeah. Well, he was so funny. It cracked me up. It cracked me up. So you know, now that we're talking about it, I have to mention like I always forget Star Wars is in Disney now. Yes. Chewie is downright my favorite character in all of the Star Wars universe. He's so cuddly. I love Chewie. You. Yes. Solid team right there. Solid stacked characters. I'm kind of looking around my like our game room and I have some Disney pop figures. So I'm like kind of looking at them, kind of looking for some inspiration. Oh, my favorite villain's Gaston because, I mean. Ooh, my favorite villain's Hades. Hades is great. Hades is great. Hades is great. Have you ever gone to the Halloween... We'll talk more about this, but, like... Yeah. Have you ever gone to the Halloween party? Yes. And watched him during the Hocus Pocus Spectacular? Yes. He freaking busts a move. He's amazing. He's an amazing character all around. It's... uh, I don't feel like Hercules is so underrated and you're probably gonna hear I'm sorry guys I keep looking down at my hand my cat like scratched my finger yesterday in the middle of the night and it like automatically ble- like blood so I'm sorry if I keep looking down at my hand I'm just looking at that cut but um <laughs> I know now yeah. that we're like recording our faces I, I keep looking at Joy because she's putting her bone under the couch again <laughs> <laughs> love her um what was it? oh yeah Hades great character great she's character great character um I'm trying to think are there any other characters that's basically, like, my favorites in a nutshell. I, I can't say that I don't have any, like, least favorite characters, though. Um, I don't really know. There's not a character that I'm like, oh, I don't like that character. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess the country bears, the jamboree bears, I mean, I guess they're oh, not that great. But those so, bears are so creepy. They're terrifying. They are terrifying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's going to be a big nope from me. So... <laughs> That's going to be a no. So any of you that have been to the parks and you've seen the Country Bear Jamboree, you know what I'm talking about. It's time for an update. Sorry if you have nightmares from them. Yes, it is time for an update with that ride because I just can't, or with that show because I just can't. All right. So So, how about songs? Since we're talking about movies, what about songs? What are some of your favorite Disney songs? Part of Your World, hands down, number one for me. Hands down, number one. Uh, mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people, this next one I'm going to talk about, a lot of people love this song. And it's I'll Make a Man Out of You from Mulan. Uh, love if, you, that song. if you haven't heard this song, I don't know what's going on because you, no one can sleep on this song because it is so good. Um, it is. I love it. It's, it's great. And it's like you can't help but burst out into song whenever it comes on. Do you uh, it's know that- great that's not going to be in the live action remake. Like they're not adding any songs to that movie. Are you kidding me? No. Why would you not put that song in reflection? Why would you not put those two songs in that movie? I think anyway, reflection yeah. might be in it, but it's like instrumental. Anywho, oh. go ahead. Sorry. Wow. Okay. Disney. Come on. Um, yeah, I would pick those songs um, in summer from Frozen's, a fire track. <laughs> um, and I'm trying to think what other ones. Um, so this is Love is a pretty song. Um, but there are just so many songs that I could be like, oh my gosh, I love that song. But I'll Make a Man Out of You and Part of Your World are my top two right there. My top yeah. two. What about you? So my favorite, the song that really like pulls at my heartstrings with Disney is When You Wish Upon a Star. Aww. I love that song. My grandma used to sing that to me. And when her and my grandpa would go to Florida, she got me like a little music box and it plays that song. So like Aww. that's always been my favorite song. Um, And other ones. I have so many favorites. Anything from Tarzan because Phil Collins is amazing. Great. Those songs are great. Um, I love all the Hercules songs. Yes. You can see, like, a theme with me. Like, I pick the movies that I like the music to. I'm <laughs> um, trying to think what other Disney songs I really like. Um, probably... It's so hard. There's so many. And then it's almost like you almost forget some of them because there's just so many and you, like, basically focus in on your favorite. So it's like, oh, what other songs are there besides that? And that um, How Far I'll Go by Moana is one of my oh. favorites. That is a good song. I will literally belt that out. I don't care where I'm at. I will <laughs> sing that song. <laughs> I love it. I'm obsessed with it. 
Moana uh, has such good music too, except for that. Do you remember that one song in Moana? We always make fun of it. No. <laughs> you know which one I'm talking I'm about. So shiny. Shiny. Whatever. I'm like, ugh. That song did not belong in that movie. I know. I'm like, all right, Tamatoa or whatever your name is. I need you to back up. I need you to <laughs> stop right now. Quit. We're gonna we're gonna say no. We're gonna say bye to that. Um. <laughs> Well, and then we also had the inside joke with, you're welcome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, but The Rock literally slayed at that song. Dude, the Ro- if they wouldn't have casted The Rock as Maui, I would have been so mad. Because he is literally the perfect candidate for that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then um, Manuel Miranda, who like wrote all the songs, did such a good job on that movie. It- kind of blows my mind that like one person can write a whole soundtrack and it can sound as good as it does it's mm-hmm. like these people are musical geniuses I mean, I, it, Ed Sheeran yes yes Ed Sheeran's amazing um also we went to that concert last year and our one year anniversary of that concert was not long ago and let's go that back. was an amazing concert can we please we need a time machine we need a time machine so we can go back in time and go back to that concert. I it's agree. Um, but that sounds pretty good for songs. Um, it looks like the next thing is Parks, which is super, super, super exciting to talk about. Yeah. Um, I guess we can start with saying what our favorite parks are and then kind of like go off onto each park, like what our favorite ride is and maybe like favorite food items. I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah. So, so what about you? Favorite? Oh, you sorry. tell me first. <laughs> um, okay, so it's hard for me to pick a favorite, um, but if I had to bring it down to two, it would be Epcot and Hollywood Studios. And Epcot would take the cake for me because I worked at Food and Wine Festival in 2016. So that park really has, and it was even my favorite before that. I just love seeing all the different cultures. And Figment's one of my favorite characters. Um, so it's like, it just holds a very special place for me in my heart. And it's so much fun. And I also feel like that park's a little more adult oriented than it is kid friendly. Yeah, it's still kid friendly, but I feel like as a kid, it's like, Oh, you know, the world showcase, like going to see all the different countries. Like, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I just want rides. So Epcot's definitely my favorite. Um, okay. How about you? What's your favorite? Magic kingdom. <laughs> I had a feeling. <laughs> I could have literally spent every single day we were in Disney in Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom is an amazing place. And so the crazy thing is Magic Kingdom has like four different sections. Yeah. Yeah. So there's like Adventureland, Frontierland, Fantasyland, and then Tomorrowland. Mm -hmm. The first time I went to Magic Kingdom, I did not even touch Tomorrowland. because I was like, I'm not going to like anything in it. I'm not going there. We're going to spend all of our time in Fantasyland because it was my first time in Disney and that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. So (laughs) when we went last time, we spent quite a bit of time in Tomorrowland. And honestly, like the People Mover, love it. Oh, it's great. I can sit on the People Mover. I can sit on it like five times in a row. Just Okay. Fun fact to those of you out there, if your feet are hurting, go to the People Mover in Tomorrowland and just ride that thing a couple of times. It's great. And it's relaxing. Mm -hmm. And if the people mover isn't open, go to the Carousel of Progress. Yes, that those two are the two places to go if you need to take a load off your feet. And we'll talk more about that with our um, ride section, too. Yes. But yes, Magic Kingdom is hands down my favorite because it's so magical. The castle, I could just sit and stare at the castle all day, honestly. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's it like you look beautiful. at it and it's like, Like your eyes, like turn your pupils, like turn into hearts while you're looking at it because it's so pretty. (laughs) But I don't blame you for Magic Kingdom being your favorite. It's a very magical place, quite literally a magical place. It's so pretty. Um, But now that we've talked about our favorite parks, why don't we go into? um, Do we want to start with? Let's start with Magic Kingdom and work our way from like Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom. Yeah, sweet. So do you, do you just want to do, we'll talk about food and rides and for each park? Yeah, and characters. We'll do that. Okay, sweet. Okay, uh, we might as well start at the OG Magic Kingdom. What's yeah. your favorite ride? What's your favorite thing to eat there? I, I have to know. 
So my favorite ride in Magic Kingdom is, oh man, <laughs> I'm going to get roasted for this, but I don't really care. Small World. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, it's a cute ride. I only like it because, like, it's just, it's one of the oldest rides there, and I don't know. It's just so much history and stuff. But honestly, like, I think my hands-down favorite ride would be Peter Pan. I really like the Peter Pan ride. It's cute. And you can always guarantee with that ride, the line's going to be so long. Mm-hmm. So Cause long. And that's because everybody loves it. Everybody loves it. Um, my favorite in Magic Kingdom is Splash Mountain. It's <laughs> super hard for me to choose between Splash Mountain, Haunted Mansion, and Space Mountain because, excuse me, I love all three of those rides. I, Haunted Mansion is a very, very close second for me just because I freaking love that ride. But I love Splash Mountain. And fun fact, I tried and tried and tried to get my brother Shad on that ride when he was a little boy. Like, I would literally make contracts with him where he would have to sign where it said, you know, Shad Perneski has to ride Splash Mountain with Cassidy or else it was for $20. Well, he chickened out a hundred times. And finally we got him on that ride. Now he enjoys the ride. And he mm-hmm. takes a picture on that ride every single time with the same freaking face. If I can find it, I'll post it below in the comments. But... Finally, I got him to ride it. I just love that ride. I love it. Have you rode it? So we rode it for the first time when we went for our honeymoon. I didn't realize there was a camera. (laughs) (laughs) It looks so bad. I'm screaming at the top of my lungs and like (laughs) you. Okay. So like Justin didn't realize this was a a water ride for some reason because it's called Splash Mountain, you would think. (laughs) But um, he was not happy with me that I booked a water ride. Oops. So the picture is literally me screaming my lungs out and Justin angry because he's on a water ride <laughs> <laughs> and he's about to get wet. So yeah, I really like Splash Mountain, but like, I'm not a roller coaster person. I wish I was, mm-hmm. but like, I am. we rode Splash Mountain <laughs> and I'm like, yep, that's good enough of a roller coaster for me. <laughs> You're like, all right, I'm good. I don't ride anything crazier than this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, I love that ride. I love it, love it. Okay, Um, Magic Kingdom. Is there a favorite restaurant of yours? Be Our Guest. It's beautiful. I love Be Our Guest. We have never gone for dinner. We've only ever gone for breakfast. Oh, their breakfast is good, though. But, like, I want to go for dinner eventually. But if you know anything about Disney dining, the Disney dining plans, um... Be Our Guest is two table services, which is, like, pretty expensive. Mm. And I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't get myself to waste two table services on it when I could just use a quick service for breakfast. Yeah, and still get the same experience. Like, you're still getting the same atmosphere. And their breakfast is pretty good. Their breakfast is really good. It's a great place to be. Um, I really like... um, trying to think I really like Crystal Palace I really like that which is like the character buffet Mm -hmm. but like for a quick service I really like the Columbia oh see it's hard for me to choose because I like Casey's Corners Casey's Mm -hmm. Corner because I love hot dogs but I love the Columbia Harbor House because their chicken tenders are fire fire (sighs) chicken tenders sorry and their honey mustard there is unlike anything I've ever had in my life I really wish we would have went there we went to Cosmic Rays twice when we were there Cosmic Rays is good. It's mm-hmm. good. It's like burgers, tenders. But the Columbia Harbor House tenders, cake. Like, takes the cake right there. So good. I'm going to have to so try good. it next time we're there. Because we talked yes. about going there. And then Justin was like, let's just go back to the place with burgers. Because Justin's like a burger person. Oh, yeah. Because, like, I wanted to go to Casey's Corner for hot dogs. But he doesn't oh, like hot dogs that much. So, so. good. Yeah, that's, I, I've kind of noticed that with men. They have a weird obsession with burgers. Yeah. So it's like, like even Ryan's like, he's like, oh, I love, he loves burgers. And it's just like, I don't know if it's like a dude thing or what, but I mean, I like burgers too, but usually I'm like, all right, I want chicken or I'll take a hot dog or like, if I order a burger, it's going to be from five guys. But anyway, oh, five guys five guys is so good. So who's your favorite character to meet in Magic Kingdom? Hmm, my favorite character. I really liked being able to meet um, Ariel there. 
Mm-hmm. I think it's really cool meeting her there. I also really like the magician Mickey. I don't know if he's still there or not, but I remember at Magic Kingdom, I met the talking Mickey so he could actually speak. And he did like magic tricks and stuff. I thought that was really cool. So I think that was my favorite. It was super cool. (laughs) But I think that those are probably my favorite. What about you? I really like meeting. We met the fairy godmother this time. Nice. She was amazing. She was so sassy. And she has like this beautiful velvet robe on. And she gave me, like, a little card, and she was, so she signed my signature book, and then she gave me a card, and she was like, I hope you make a scrapbook of your happily ever after with your Prince Charming, and you can put this in it, and she gave me, like, a little note card with her signature on it. Oh, that's really cute. It was adorable. Cute. That's awesome. I love it. See, this is the reasons why I love Disney, is because they make everything so custom. They do. And, like, personalized to you. Um, okay, uh, how about Epcot? Yes, let's just go right into it. Epcot so, is amazing. It is amazing. amazing. Um, let's see, food. Yes, right where's your five. favorite place to eat? Um, okay, so if you ever go to Epcot and you want a very good dinner, go to the Japanese pavilion. Oh yeah. They do hibachi and it is so good. If you like sushi or anybody out there that loves sushi, get it in Japan in Epcot because it is amazing. So good. And it's like you sit there and the the chef is like sitting there and like cooking your dinner right in front of you and this yum yum sauce that they have is so good. Mm. So hands down, Japan and Epcot's my favorite. Hands down. So good. How about you? So this is a hard question because we were there for food and wine for our honeymoon and we didn't really eat there when I went there with my parents for the first time. So we went to Mexico. Yeah, we went to Mexico and I got these nachos. Oh my God, they were so good. I don't even remember what the place was called, but like these nachos were amazing. Oh, that sounds What else did we get? So like... During the Food and Wine Festival, you have, like, um, different countries that you don't normally have at Epcot. We got this beer cheese from Ireland. It was literally the most amazing thing. I drank the cheese. I'm not even kidding. I know that's disgusting. (laughs) That's great. But, like, they only gave us two little pieces of bread, and we had a whole bunch of cheese left. And I'm like, I'm not wasting (laughs) this. Yeah, no, do it. Heck yeah. So that was really good. And then Canada has really good food, too. That was actually, Canada was one of the little uh, places that I actually worked at. So the Canada had, like, this flame and yawn steak. With yes, I had on. that. So good. And little pretzel, they had, like, little pretzel buns to serve when I was there with beer cheese soup. Oh, yep, I had that, too. (laughs) I literally, our snack credits at the end that we had left over, I was like, we're going to Canada because I want this and this and this and this. (laughs) Yeah, you might as well spend them. You know what I mean? Because if you don't, it's just kind of, like, wasted. You know, they don't go anywhere. So it's like, I got to use them. I got to use them. Yep. Um, How about your favorite ride at Epcot? What do you like at Epcot? Frozen Forever After is, like, amazing. But... That's not my favorite. My favorite is Soren. So we never rode Soren until our last day at Disney. Justin was like, We have time to kill. Like, what do you want to do? This ride is normally like an hour and a half wait. It was 15 minutes. And I was like, Let's go. Let's walk on. So we got on it. And I'm afraid of flying. So I'm like, I'm going to hate this, but like, let's try it. I loved every second on that ride but like frozen forever after was amazing so adorable too. it was such a good ride what about you what was your favorite um it's it's probably kind of funny that I'm gonna say this um but my favorite ride at Epcot is journey into the imagination with figment just because I have so many memories with that ride that's like my that's brother and I's favorite ride to ride together it's just it's fun but if I had to pick one of the more um 
popular rides, it would probably be Test Track. I love Test Track because you can go in, create your own car, and then go and it takes you through like all the simulations of what a regular car goes through for safety tests. It's just so much fun. I love it. I love it. Yeah, we didn't get to ride that one. I really wanted to. Well, last time we went, when Ryan and I and my family went, it we got on the ride and it went for maybe five seconds and then it like shut down and they had to walk us off. It was like, oh my god, so I that to ride it so bad. <laughs> that happened to us on Haunted Mansion. Oh no! The first time ever riding that ride, I was like nervous because it's Haunted Mansion. It's supposed to be scary, yeah. and I'm like, if any ride would break down, this would be the worst one to break down on, and. No crap, we broke down on it. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that's the worst. I'm so sorry you went through that. That's all right. We made it oh, through. I love it though. I think the coolest thing is like whenever a, a ride breaks down or something, and the lights come on and you actually see the structure of the ride and it's amazing. Mm-hmm. It's like, holy crap, there's a lot that goes into this ride. Oh, sorry. Um, no, it's okay. It is Wednesday. Mm-hmm. So. Is- Speaking of favorite rides, who's your favorite character at Epcot? Ooh. You know, I think my favorite character there would have to be... I think it's pretty cool that you can meet Mulan there. I think that's yeah. pretty cool. Mulan and Belle are probably my favorites to meet there. That's it's cool because they're because Mulan's like... You don't really see her anywhere else other than parades. And there really isn't a Mulan ride or anything, which they need to make. So getting to meet her is pretty cool. It's like, oh, cool. I finally get, like, that Mulan experience. So I would say Mulan, definitely, I think is my favorite there. I agree. That's a good one. I think mine would have to be, so we met Joy and Sadness when we were there last. They were amazing. Like, they were so much fun to meet and, like, just interact with. So, like, they obviously don't talk because they're in costumes. And they were just, the area that they're in, like, they actually have, like, the emotions and the, is that what they're called? The emotions? No. The memories? Yes. Yeah. The memories are up on the wall and you can, like, physically touch them. And then you get to, like, meet Joy and Sadness. And Joy's, like, obviously all happy and jumps around and Sadness is, like, sad. So, funny story with that, um, when our dog is named Joy, so we went into this, and I had this picture pulled up of Joy, our dog, and I said to Joy, the character, I named my dog after you, and I showed her a picture of Joy, and Sadness, like, taps me on the shoulder, and was, like, pointing at my phone, and I was like, oh, you want to see, too? So, I showed her, and she pointed at the dog and pointed back at herself and I was like oh you want us to name our next dog sadness and she was like yes and I was like all right well so needless to say we already have a name for our next dog oh that's hilarious I love it (laughs) that's great (laughs) that's another amazing thing is like the characters are so much fun to meet and they try to they it's just so much fun everything's so amazing there um I, I'm so obsessed I can't wait to go back again um uh okay I guess let's get into Animal Kingdom um I'm not gonna lie to everybody I don't really like Animal Kingdom that much I mean I I can't say I don't like it it's just out of all the parks it would probably be the one that I would skip and go to Disney Springs I agree. um I mean there are some really amazing things there if you've never been there you need to go because it is pretty amazing but after you've been there so many times it's like okay, you know, the Yeti ride's cool and this is cool, but it's like, um, you know, maybe a half day type thing. Right. Um, so what's your favorite ride at Animal Kingdom? The Safari. That's amazing. That's literally the only reason that we go to Animal Kingdom is for the Safari. Safari. Because awesome. you get to see, like, you get to go in an actual Jeep and go on a real life Safari with, like, real animals. Which is so cool. Like, I love it. I love getting to be that close to animals and, like, taking pictures and everything. Yes. Now, can I can I guess yours? Um, let me think of mine real quick. Oh, you don't even know. Yes, go ahead and guess it. Is it Yeti? It is, yeah. <laughs> I love the Yeti. I love, but like I said earlier, I'm a roller coaster person. 
Yeah. So I like the thrill rides. I like stuff like that. But what really I think is so cool about that ride is that you go backwards in it fast mm-hmm. backwards. And it's like, okay, this is so cool. I've never done this before on a ride. So that's why I love the Yeti so much. And I actually got my mom on that ride. We got my mom and Shad both on that ride and we have a picture of it. And it's crazy because my mom and Shad are more of like, uh, we like rides, but we don't like thrill rides. So the fact that we got them both on that ride is hilarious. I love it so much. That is Um, great. But yeah, that's my favorite there. Um, It's kind of hard for me to talk about my favorite food at Animal Kingdom because Every time we always go to Rainforest Cafe and there's the steak there and it's so good. Oh, their Um, steak is so good. So good. So I'm going to say Animal or sorry, Rainforest Cafe is my favorite place to eat in Animal Kingdom. Mm -hmm. But it's mostly because I have only ever went to like the quick service in Dino Land, USA. Yeah, (laughs) I went there. But other than that, I mean, Rainforest Cafe, hands down, so good. And the atmosphere is amazing. So I'm trying to think. Me and Justin have only ever gone to Yak and Yeti, the quick service one. Oh, yeah. And their food is actually really good. Is it good? Is it worth it? Yeah. I got a – so Justin got, like, teriyaki chicken or something with rice and veggies. And then I ended up getting a burger, but it was, like – I don't even remember what the burger was called. But it was, like, wag – is it wagyu beef? I don't remember. Anyway, it was really good, and it came with, like, french fries and stuff like that, because I'm not a big, like, veggies person. Mm-hmm. Um, so, like, Chinese food I'm always, like, iffy about. Like, I'll eat the rice, I'll eat the chicken, mm-hmm. but I don't eat the veggies. Um, so, yeah, Yak and Yeti was, <laughs> is really good, actually. I'll have to try that next time. And there's not really many characters to meet in Animal mm-hmm. Kingdom. No, um, there's like Tarzan in that, well, there was Tarzan, now I think it's Flick. Yeah. From Bug's Life, but my favorite there to me is Doug from Up. I love oh, meeting that's... Doug from Up. That's a good one. Like the retriever. I, who did we meet? Pocahontas. I like Pocahontas. That's a cool one. I like her a lot too. That's awesome. But Tarzan was like, when he was at Animal Kingdom, he was hands down my favorite. Oh, Yeah. So cool. And he looks just like him, too. Yeah. Looks just like him. It's so cool. And he, like, picks through your hair for bugs and everything. <laughs> it cracked me up when and he did I'm, that. I mean, I'm not going to complain. A shirtless guy with abs, like, touching my hair is okay with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. You get wrecked Justin and Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing is, is he can't even hear this, so. Because yeah, he has headphones Ryan on. Yeah, either. <laughs> Um, I guess let's get into the last one. Um, Hollywood, Hollywood Studios, Studios, which is so cool. I can't wait to go back there because oh, I love Hollywood Studios. They've opened Toy Story Land and Galaxy's Edge since I've been mm-hmm. there, and I cannot wait to see both of those. I'm so 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 excited. Oh my gosh, cast they are amazing. I can't wait. Um, my favorite ride is, and again, it comes down to like two. Uh, I really like. Tower of Terror is my all-time favorite because me and my dad love that ride. We're obsessed with that ride. And see, it's hard because I love all so many. Um, I also really love Rock and Roller Coaster. I love them both, but Tower of Terror is my favorite. I love Tower of Terror. Um, It's just so much fun. So much fun. What's your favorite? I don't honestly know if I have a favorite ride there. Because, like, I... I feel like we didn't ride much while we were there, but I guess we we did um, Toy Story Mania. That's fun. It was so much fun. We really wanted to ride Slinky Dog Dash, but the line was so long. Oof. Same with the new Millennium Falcon ride. Oh. The line was crazy long, so yeah, that's we decided not to. This light is terrible. <laughs> what happened? Did the sun go down a little bit? Yeah, it did. I can still see your beautiful face, though. But <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I would say my favorite is the Toy Story Mania because Toy Story Land is amazing. Like, you're going to love it. I can't wait to see it. And Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is... It's so cool. I'm so, so excited. Cool. I can't wait. 
Sorry, some Adobe Flash thing just came up on my computer. So if I look like I was confused or something, it like came up and brought my Skype down. So that was weird. But yeah, I can't wait. That's the only thing that like kind of sucks about Disney, like making new things is, you know, the lines are about to be crazy. Oh my gosh, yes. I don't really want to wait three hours for a ride because that's just time taken off the park. But um, I have a quick side note about Hollywood Studios Fantasmic is my favorite show ever. It's such a good I, show. I have a, a, a hoodie, like a little sweatshirt on today. I wore it. It's my Fantasmic sweatshirt, my crew neck, that Ryan got me for my birthday. So I just want to throw that out there. I love Fantasmic. I hope they don't ever get rid of it. I hope they don't ever get rid of that show because I'll be really sad. Um, you, <laughs> you, like, came dressed prepared and I'm, like, still in my work clothes. Yeah. Like, whatever. <laughs> That's okay. You're a hardworking woman. You got this. <laughs> um, what's your favorite food at Hollywood Studios? Oh, so there's this Italian restaurant. It's co- called Mama Mel Rosa's. Ooh. Roses? Rosa's? I don't remember. But they have the best steak ever. Oh, steak sounds so good. I'm sorry. It's like <laughs> this huge piece of steak. I think it's a New York strip. And it has this garlic butter on it, or garlic aioli. Yeah. That's so good. That sounds so good. I'm, like, getting so hungry sitting here talking about food. <laughs> I know. I'm low-key hoping Justin goes and gets me Subway for dinner. <laughs> I know. I hope Ryan will, too. We'll, we'll never know. But, <laughs> well, I guess we will. I guess I guess we'll know. Next week when we record, I'll, I'll have to tell everybody if we got Subway or not. But, um it's I love Hollywood Studios food wise um if I had to pick there's a place called Sci-Fi Diamond which the experience is amazing it's like you're basically sitting in a drive-in and it's like you're sitting in like a car with like a table and it's really cool I like their Rubens from there they're really good um Ryan and I are like obsessed with Rubens it's like we love Rubens so if it's a good Ruben we're a pretty good judge of it oh that sounds (laughs) really good so good I know like I said I'm getting so hungry but um how about a favorite character to meet there is there a character there that you love Chewy Chewy Chewy's amazing fun I really like Kylo Ren but I wish I almost wish he's a little bit more interactive because when you meet him he's just kind of like and I don't know if he was there when you guys were there or not Mm -hmm. I don't know it was Darth Vader dang it but Kylo Ren was kind of like he didn't hug you he didn't really say much and it was just kind of like, okay, this is really cool. I liked meeting him a lot, but I always wished that he'd give me a hug. But I mean, he's a villain, so I don't know what I was <laughs> expecting. Um, but other than that, I really like being able to meet um, – you can meet Goofy there. In I love Goofy. And then you can also meet, like, the Toy Story characters, like Buzz and Woody there. So mm-hmm. that's really cool too. We met Olaf while we were there. I, I oh, forgot yeah. all about this. Totally forgot about oh, Olaf. Oh. It was, like, my favorite meet and greet because he was so, like, sweet and he had, like, this fake sunscreen bottle and I was like, oh, Olaf, you need some on your nose. So I, like, pretended to rub sunscreen on his nose Aww. and he, like, rubbed it on my arms and then he, like, pulled Justin over to get a picture and then once the picture was done, he pushed Justin away. He's like, no, go away. I just want to <laughs> So. I forgot about he was, Olaf. He I was completely adorable. forgot. I love him. I can't believe I forgot about him. I know. I think it's because you're so busy talking about Toy Story, I guess. I don't know. But, I, yeah, Olaf's amazing. I love him, love him, love him. But I guess now that we've talked about all that stuff, um, what's your favorite merch to buy? What do you like to buy while you're there? Oh. If your answer is the same as mine, I have a feeling. I could spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on what <laughs> I'm going to talk about. But go ahead. Pins. I yeah. love Disney pins. <laughs> yes. And they're amazing. Their so pins, cool. their spirit jerseys, their ears. Ears. Yeah. I love their ears. What's the favorite pin? Like, what's your favorite pin that you have? And maybe after we talk about our favorite pins, we'll go ahead and drop a photo down below. To yeah. show you our pins. We should have thought about this. We could have just showed it on the video. I didn't even think about it. We should have. Oh, well. Next time. So, <laughs> this is... I have so many because, like, when we went for our honeymoon, Justin was like, get whatever you want. And I was like, okay. All right. <laughs> so bet. I bought a bunch <laughs> like, of pins. You um, got some really cute ones. Thanks. I'm obsessed with yours. I think I have two favorites. So, like, I got this Kim Possible pin, and I am obsessed with Kim Possible. Um, 
So it's like the communi if you know if you ever watched Kim Possible, the communicator, how yes. she's like all pixelated. It's like a circle with her face and then you can move the circle and it's like actually her. It's so cool. And then I got another one that's like um, Mickey and Minnie sitting in front of Cinderella's castle and they're making a heart with their tails. And it says, my happy place is with you or something. Something oh, like that. But it's like our honeymoon thing. I'm talking to my heartstrings a little bit. Dang, that's so cute. But I really like that one. Really What's adorable. your favorite pin? Hmm. I have a couple. I think one of my favorite ones that I have, I have one of Lady and the Tramp sitting with like spaghetti on their plates. But Stitch is up on the table, like, eating all of their spaghetti. I really like that one. Uh, I also have a Jonas Brothers pin <laughs> from, like, 2008. What? I know. I do. Um, and, but I think my favorite is probably either the Stitch one. I, I know I have a couple other ones, but I can't think off the top of my head which ones would be my Oh, I have a Jessica Rabbit one. I love Jessica Rabbit. You can barely ever find anything of her. Yeah, really. Um, I love Jessica Rabbit. I have a Jessica Rabbit one that I really like. But I'll put pictures. We'll take pictures and we'll go ahead and post them in the comments down below of our favorite ones. Definitely. And I'm super excited to show you guys because pins are so much fun. And one thing I've never really gotten into but I want to are the mystery packs. I really want to. They're really so expensive to. though. No, it's super expensive. And my thing is, is like, once I, if I like save up a whole bunch of money and take it with me to Florida, I'll be fine spending mm -hmm. it on that. But if I only have so many dollars to spend in a day, I don't know if I want to spend it on a mystery pack if I don't know which pin I'm going to get. Right. That's the only thing. Or if you get two packs and they both have the same pins, it's almost like, mm, I crap. I'm so I mad. I know. Me too. Me too. But they're super fun. I like those. And I really like, um, I've like been into pop figures a lot lately. So like the park exclusive pop figures are a lot of fun to grab onto. I don't have any yet. I do have a, a food and wine figment coming in the mail soon though. I should be getting that tomorrow. So maybe I'll also post a picture of him, but I'm obsessed. I That'd love it. The awesome. Right? <laughs> I'm excited. Um, oh, but... you know one thing we forgot to talk about? Oh, what? Oh, wait, go ahead. Do you have any more favorite merch that you want to talk about? No, uh, basically just the ears. Ears, pins, and pop figures. That's I'll spend hundreds of dollars on all of them. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, so what about, we didn't really talk about parades or like shows. Yeah. yeah so you said... Yeah phantasmic yes oh my gosh this light I'm so sorry <laughs> so bad <That's> okay <laughs> um but phantasmic which is yours yes is awesome I love phantasmic too um the new oh my gosh the new fireworks at magic kingdom happily ever after I freaking bawled my eyes out during those. Like, I love them. They were so good. I'm trying yes. to think. What's the parade in Magic Kingdom? Festival of Fantasy. That's a great one. I love that parade, too. I have too. to watch it at least once while we're there. I love it. Um, What's another parade or show? Um, There's the Beauty and the Beast show. That's a cool one. Um, um, there's... Yeah. So good. There's that one, and then there's the uh, Voyage of the Little Mermaid. That one's a good show. Indiana Jones. Yes, I haven't, but honestly, I haven't watched that one in years. And I kind of, like, feel like I almost sleep a little bit on the parades and stuff because it's like, okay, you know, I've seen the parades, so I don't really want to watch them again. But it's been years since I've watched some of these, so it's like next time I go, I have to make sure that I go and watch them because they're so much fun to watch. And you got to get, like, a primetime um, seat, too. Oh, my gosh. So. Be amazing. While we were down there last, we went to the Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween party. Yes. The Boo to You parade was amazing. Yes. Did the and little guys have the shovels that make the sparks on the floor yes. or on the ground? <laughs> and then there's um, the Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular. If you like Hocus Pocus, you need to see it. It was phenomenal. I loved everything about it. I want to go back for Halloween so bad. <laughs> we talked about going back. So we want to go back before we have kids. But we want to go back in Christmas time to go to the Christmas party. Oh, yes. The Christmas party is cool. The only advice I would say for that is to not go near Christmas. Like, go either earlier in the month. Because 
I've been there and it's, hor- I mean, I should say it's horrible, but it's pretty horrible. Like right. crowds are insane. And for the new, it's cool to be there for New Year's Eve, but they give children like the blowers that like the honkers that like you blow into and they make noise. Oh my goodness. All you hear the whole day are these kids blowing on these horns and it almost drives you up a wall. It's amazing to be there, but it's like the rides are, the lines are just terrible. I'm sure. <laughs> but I'm trying to think, is there anything else we want to cover about Disney? Uh, it looks like on my list, this is favorite memory, but is there anything about the parks you want to say? Like before we kind of stray off onto the favorite memory? I would say if you're going for the first time, check them all out. Have a day for each park. Um, they're all worthwhile. Animal Kingdom's a little boring, but um, I would spend maybe half a day there. Yeah, and then use the other half of your day to go to Disney Springs and go shopping. Yes, so we ate at a Irish pub while we were there. That was the first night we were there. Absolutely amazing. The food was so I'm good. Gonna go there. I'm going to go there next time. It was Justin's favorite meal we ate while we were there. That sounds so good. Dang, all this talk about food. We have to, we have to get some dinner here soon because my stomach's growling. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Me too. It's so good. This light is so bad. It's okay. Anywho. Um, so, what's your favorite memory at Disney? Oh, man. I'm making this face because I have too many. Um, I would have to say... I have two favorite memories. My first favorite memory is meeting Ryan. Oh. And my second one is when he asked me to marry him at Magic Kingdom. Yours are so so adorable. (laughs) Thank you. Yeah, he's all right, I guess. No, I'm joking. (laughs) He's he's a very awesome person, and I'm very thankful that it happened. Um, It was it was great. (laughs) <laughs> if you guys are wondering about the proposal we talked about it in one of our earlier episodes so go ahead and check that one out and it goes kind of into detail on what happened I think it was I episode it. two yes I think so because it was what our love stories I think mm-hmm. that was episode so if you guys want to hear about that go ahead and scoot back to episode two and listen to that um, but I think those are my favorite memories with Ryan in general and Disney and those are my favorite memories but honorable mentions is just growing up And spending that time with my family and having all those memories for the rest of our lives together, knowing that we have fun and, you know, have a good time and make laughs. I think that's also a pretty amazing memory. Mm -hmm. So those are my favorite. I don't want to get too mushy on you guys, (laughs) but those are my favorites. (laughs) How about you, Nikki? What's your, what's your favorite memory? Was it during your honeymoon? It is. Um, So if you go back to our honeymoon episode, I talked about this, but I'm going to mention it again just because it was hands down like my favorite thing that's ever happened there. Um, Justin and I went to the Halloween party, like I said, um, and there was like nobody there because for the Halloween party, you have to get like an exclusive pass. So we were behind the castle. We just got our picture taken with Rapunzel's lanterns, which is a picture I wanted so bad. Um, we just got that done. We walked behind the castle to go do something. And Justin goes, hold on, look around. There's no one here. And I was like, oh my gosh, there isn't anybody here. So he like grabbed my hand, spun me around in a circle and like pulled me in and gave me a kiss. And it was the most magical moment. Um, and then of course I had to take a picture for Instagram because there was nobody behind the castle. And I was like, babe, take my picture. (laughs) That's amazing. That sounds so cute, too. It was. It was awesome. It's so moments like that that are amazing. Since we're all, like, sunshine and rainbows today in Disney World, um, let's do our rant of the day because my rant's about to be about the sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> Aw. <laughs> um, I know you have a good one, Nikki. So why don't you go ahead and start us off, and then I'll, I'll go ahead and get into mine. Okay, so, oh my gosh, my rant of the day is, okay, anyway, my (laughs) rant of the day is about 
button up shirts or like dresses with buttons because this happened to me today um how if you are at all gifted in the chest area they don't fit like and no. if they do fit you risk the fear of popping the button off which happened oh, to me no. today oh, at no. work I work in an elementary school it's a good thing I had a sweater with me um so if you're watching the video I wore this dress and it did come up to here and covered like this okay my button completely popped off so this is why I have a little cami under it, which I didn't oh, wear this no. to work. My button popped off and I had to cover this area with my sweater all day. Oh, but no. yeah, that's my rant of the day that buttons suck with oh, shirts no. or dresses. If you have yeah. this stuff up here. I agree. And it's like the buttons that they even do put on. It's not like they're like. Sorry. Good buttons. It's okay. They're like crappy ones that are about to break. Sorry, I just like, asked Justin to close the blinds. No, that's okay. Yeah, we need you to be comfortable while you're <laughs> talking to us because right now it doesn't look very comfy. I think it was the wrong one. Anywho, go ahead and tell us what your rant of the day is while we're waiting. Okay, my, my, oh yeah, my favorite rant of the day. My rant of the day is. Um, I saw a tweet a while ago and I kind of got rid of my personal Twitter just because it's just, to me, it's a toxic environment sometimes. And I feel like I have to be posted. Oh, Hey, perfect. There you are. Oh, anyway, you got rid hey. of your personal Twitter. Yeah. I got rid of my personal Twitter just because sometimes Twitter can be a toxic place. And I feel like people feel like they have to post the right things and can't really post what they want to post on there for the fear of people making fun of them or just judging them or just talking trash, which is so stupid. And uh, also real quick side note, since I've graduated, I have really, I feel like I've changed as a person. I don't really thrive on the same things I used to thrive on, but anyways, like Twitter, one of my biggest pet peeves is when people say adults that are obsessed with Disney are weird and are like the worst type of people. It's like, if you have to sit there and say that, what's wrong with you? Have you ever been there? Like, probably not. Because if you have understood, you wouldn't say that. And even if, even if, even if you do feel like adults are too old to enjoy Disney, mind your own business. Let people like what they want to like. That's my random day. It's just let people like what they want to like and don't make it feel like people are going to get judged. That's my rant of the day. I agree. I think that if you like to watch Paw Patrol in your pajamas and eat cereal on your couch on Sunday mornings, that's your business. That's what you like to do. Don't let anybody tell you it's weird. I personally don't watch Paw Patrol, but like... (laughs) Are you sure? (laughs) It's the the first thing that popped into my mind. Um, Yeah. Let people enjoy it. Just be yourself. Do yes. what you want to do. And, and if people tell to... you opposite, Sorry, then I'm... they shouldn't be in your life. No, you're fine. I 100% agree. And if they aren't hurting you, let them do whatever they want. Thank you. I agree. If you want to eat Subway for 31 days out of a month, eat Subway. If you have the money and you like it, at, do it. At my husband. Hardcore. <laughs> also, guys, a quick backstory real quick. He's just uh, staring I'm... at me. <laughs> Hi Justin. Uh we are we are craving Subway tonight, so that's why I keep talking about Subway. Please My try family. to talk our husbands into buying us Subway for dinner tonight. Yes, talk them into it because I want it. But please yeah. leave, leave comments oh, down below telling them telling them to buy us Subway. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We need the support. <laughs> but I think we basically touched on everything for tonight. I think so, too. It was a good episode. It was a great one. If you guys have a favorite park, favorite memory, favorite food, if you have any suggestions for us to try next time, go ahead and put it down in the comments below. Or you can give us a message on Instagram, uh, Twitter, our Facebook page, all the platforms that we're on. Follow us, follow us, follow us. We love to hear from you. Thank you guys for continuing to support us. And let us know if you liked being able to see us. Did it feel more personal? Did you like it? Let us know. Please do. Um, and I mean, like, we hope that you guys enjoy listening to us every week. We enjoy making these. 
Um, even if we can make one or two people smile a week, that's all that matters. Oh, we forgot. We have another rant of the day that one of our listeners sent to us. Oh, I, I'm yeah. glad I didn't forget. I almost yeah. forgot. Um, let me pull it up. Her name is Emma. I'm not going to say her last name just because we don't know. We don't know. Um, here we go. So, her rant. Oh, wait, is this it? Sorry. Her rant is, I run a household by myself with three kids, two dogs, two cats, run a restaurant up here in in the town she lives in. I'm not going to say what town it is. Full of idiots. Oh, I, oh, and I'm expect, I'm expecting the house to be done and cleaned by Thursday when somebody comes off of the road every day. Yeah. So, Emma, I get it. It sucks. I don't have kids, but I have a dog. And my husband sometimes leaves for a week to go to the state of Indiana for work. So, trying to take care of the dog, make sure the house is clean, do all of that stuff, even without babies, is a struggle. I can only imagine having three of them on top of that. You yeah, are. Yeah, life is hard. Yeah, you are a strong woman. Go you. We- we love you, girly. Thank you for listening. Um, to other listeners, if you're listening, if you want to be, sh- you know, if you want us to shout you out, leave us a comment below. Let us know or message us. We're going to be happy to shout you out. Yeah, do it. Should, we love you guys. we shout out the person who requested for us to do videos? Yes. So, Clarice, thank you. Thank you yes. for listening. Thank you for your request. We take your opinion seriously. We hope you enjoyed the video. And if you liked it, please comment. Let us know if you want to do more. So yes, yes, or you yes. Want us to do more. Um, there were a couple other people. Let me go ahead and shout them out real quick. Um, we have my mom. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Uh, we have Alyssa Fraun. Well, I should. Well, I won't say her last name. We have Alyssa. <laughs> thank you for listening. <laughs> Shelly, thank you for listening. My mama, Linda, thank you. Uh, Douglas, thanks for commenting. Uh, and I'm sure your mom want to see our faces too. my mom mom. definitely yes so thank you guys for interacting with us it makes it so much fun when we hear feedback from you and it lets us know you know what we need to be doing different or what you want to hear and that's what we're here for we're here to entertain you so hopefully you guys liked it and please send me your ghost stories on email them to two wives one world at gmail.com or you can send them to us through facebook instagram twitter whatever you would prefer just please send them because they're going to be a part of our podcast in a couple weeks for our halloween episode yes and i cannot wait for that it's going to be spooky so i have some good stories to share so. yes you do you're not going to want to miss this I'm excited. um i guess with that i guess we might as well unfortunately say our goodbyes which i don't want to but it's that time of day my stomach's growling my, i'm out of water you know yep. what that means. It's uh, it's time for us to give our little goodbyes. So I guess let's just say thanks to our moms for listening every week. And thank you to everybody again. We really, really, really love you guys. So Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Because without you, we probably wouldn't be able to do this. So thank you. Um, and with that being said, you know who you were listening to. We are Two Wives, two wives one, one World. world. And we'll talk to you guys next time. See ya. (laughs) Bye.